to the channel. This is Vans for the Memories and we are at Braemar Caravan Park. About a two minute walk from the village of Braemar and it's very cold here at the moment. Hey! <gasps> that went all over me! Oh, thanks very much Gary. It's part of the Invercold estate. Just come out for a walk into Braemar. So I thought I'd bring the camera with me so you can have a little look around. Snow or rain, one way, beer that way. <laughs> oh, did you Sunday roast? <gasps> Is it Sunday today? Saturday. Oh, we'll have to go tomorrow. Mountain sports shop, antiques and curios. Oh, that's just up my street, that is. Braemar chocolate shop. Oh, it's closed. Oh. For Quarsons, isn't it? That must be all the snow melting and coming off the hills. a red squirrel oh my goodness <laughs> I've never seen that before oh where did it go Charlie it along. did it go down there yeah. how cheeky was that how cheeky was that? And this is a beautiful hotel, the Five Farms it's called. It looks amazing inside. Wow, it is stunning. And off an evening, it's lit up so beautifully. On the 15th of January 1942, during a routine training flight, this aircraft crashed on high ground near Braemar due to poor weather conditions. All eight crewmen based at the 20 operational training unit at RAF Lossiemouth lost their lives. Six crew members lay at rest within the Commonwealth Graves Commission Reservation, which is based in Aberdeen, and two in their home cemeteries in England. The two Bristol Pegasus engines which were removed from the crash site in 1999. From them, one of them is preserved here as a permanent memorial to those named below and all other air crew who lost their lives in the Cairngorm Mountains. It's a pharmacy and a news agent and a gift shop. shower this morning wash my hair here at Braemar. I thought there would be sockets to dry my hair in the toilet but I couldn't find any so I'm not going to use my electric because we're trying an experiment to see how much uh, electricity we use um, and I don't normally dry my hair so with the hair dryer in the van so I'm, um, I'm not going to do that because we just want to know roughly what we use anyway. So we're leaving Braemar today um, no particular direction. We've got to start tracking back though. We've got to start tracking 
down the road. It's not really panned out as we planned this trip. Um, we've hardly done any anything really, any walking or anything. We have done bits, but between having a, a cold and really being rough with that, having the ice, which meant we couldn't walk anyway because it was it was so slidey underfoot and the problems with the pump which meant we've had to move go places that we really didn't have planned to go to we've enjoyed our time at braemar really nice place if you get the chance to come up come it's worth the effort there's not a whole lot of shops in the village there's a few there's no takeaways as such in the winter though i will warn you of that we couldn't find any um takeaways in the day and it's more like cafe cafe food um, so we managed to get a lovely bacon and egg roll from a tea room called Gordon's um, really nice staff and the food was absolutely delicious if you are coming to Braemar in the winter bring enough warm clothes and make sure you've got enough heat in your van because you will get cold so all in all yeah a lovely sight and we would return definitely I'll, I'll switch you off for now and we'll find out what's happening with this electric um, once we get into the shop and hand in the card and we'll let you know how that pans out. Just noticed as well, they do have Calagas for sale at Ter Braemar and the shop in the reception is, is alright, it's, you know, there's a few bits and bobs in there. It's going to be interesting to find out how much um, this electric has cost us because we always wonder really how much we do use. Now we've used the van. We've used the electricity in the van as we normally would. That's why I didn't put the hairdryer on this morning <laughs> because I didn't want it to mess up the figures because I don't generally use the hairdryer in the van unless the dog gets absolutely drowned, in which case we do. I don't think we've used that much, I'll be honest with you. Mary sorted out the electric. What did we spend? Have you explained what we've used this time? I've said that we've used a, a, a little bit. We've used the air fryer. Diesel heater was on for a long time. Diesel heater was on like literally all Lights, yesterday. Charged Lights. up your uh, iPad, yeah. iMac, whatever My it is. My laptop was permanently charged yeah, in. I'm permanently charged in. Um, kettles. Kettles. Hot water. A few kettles. Yeah, that'll be through the diesel heater. Oh, that's heater, through the, but the diesel, diesel heater. heater will still use some yeah. electricity. Yeah. The um, fridge. Yeah, obviously the fridge as well. Boy. The cuddly toy. Charging phones, charging phones, lights. Oh, I think yeah, we've, we've said lights. lights. Yeah, we've um, said lights. That's it then, isn't it? Really, that's it. we put now ten pound in. Yeah. And we got after two days nine pound twenty seven back. You're joking? No, nine pound twenty. So it cost us seventy five p, seventy three p. About seventy three pence, yeah. Wow. And I, and I know I've done it right because. As I'd gone in, the woman said, oh, she said, I, I think it was Alistair, I think, the, you know, the fella. He says, uh, he come in, he says, oh, oh, someone's done it right on the card machine. We said, no, it's all spot on, got the numbers and everything here. Wow. That's I, I can't believe that. surprising, yeah. isn't it? She did make comments about the diesel heaters are they're massively good at saving electricity, and the better your diesel heater it tends to be the less electricity you it would have been well. really interesting to stay another two days and put the electric, the electric heater, on. heater on yeah yeah don't be frightened by it yeah don't be frightened by these pay by meter i know everybody's got a different setup i know everybody's heating systems is different and the way we use our vans is different like our fridge is a compressed compressor fridge um <clears throat> we cook on gas Having said that, we did use the air fryer. Yeah. So this actually worked out quite a cheap campsite then. More or less it cost what we paid yeah. for the site at the pitch. Yeah. Not even 50 pence extra a day. No, that's incredible. Wow, we should just live in the van. Y yeah, <laughs> I keep telling you that. Right. Live in the van. Cute little place. Another one ticked off the... Yeah. Okay.